Japanese Curse Ushino Koku Mairi This is one of the most famous and powerful black magic spells. While the costume and ritual have changed over the centuries, the basic rite of pounding nails into dolls remains the same. Ushino Koku Mairi translates to Shrine Visit at the Hour of the Ox. To perform this curse, you need to make a wara ninyo, which is a straw doll. It serves as a sculpture of the person you want to curse. For the best effect, the doll should have some part of the person's DNA in it, like hair, skin, blood, or fingernails. Sometimes, a photograph or even their name written on a piece of paper will suffice. BRB, let me go to my enemy's Instagram page. Once done, you have to wear the ritual costume, which is usually a white kimono, and sneak into a shrine late at night. Many Shinto shrines have sacred trees called Shinboku. They are the homes of kami spirits. Nail the doll to the sacred tree using long iron spikes called Gosun Kugi. As stated in the name, the timing of this ritual is very important. The ritual can only be completed at the hour of the ox, between 1 to 3 a.m., the ancient method of counting time in Japan. The hour of the ox is the traditional witching hour in Japan, a time when yurei and yokai and other evil spirits come hunting. And most importantly, the ritual must be done in secret, so hush, hush, don't let anyone know. It is said, if anyone sees you performing this ritual, the curse will rebound on the caster. Unless, of course, the eyewitness is immediately slain. The number of times you perform the ritual varies. Some say you must go back seven nights pounding in a single nail each night. The final nail goes into the head, which will kill the cursed person. If I have to go back seven nights in a row, I'm done. I will not do that. I might hire someone though. The results vary as well. Some say the cursed person will fall sick and die. Some say that, like the doll, the cursed person will feel pain when the spikes are hammered in. And some also say that, that it is actually a summoning ritual. By performing this curse, you summon a vengeful spirit to torment and ultimately destroy the person. Actually, there's more details going into this curse, but I am going to stop here. You know you can actually order this ritual kit online. And fun fact, performers of the ritual can be prosecuted under Japanese law. I ain't getting into trouble, okay? If you want to get into trouble, do it at your own risk. Okay, bye!